Marina, you should really tell your parents about us before it's too late. But do you know I can't do that? They're so on edge after the war and... They expect me to marry a man. Not be with a woman. Well, I'm tired of keeping this a secret. Believe me, I am too. But... Marinette, I know you want to show the world our love. Yes, I very much do, but you, you know that... Yes, I do. Please, give me more time. Fine. Well, well, Marionette. I guess you better go. Walk with me out. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm just gonna take Bet out. Marionette. Oh. Oh. I guess you can walk yourself out. So, how's your day, mother? Marionette, as you can see with the lack of good food on your plate, we are running out of money. We are running out of money because we are still financially supporting you, a grown adult. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because you haven't found a husband yet, and to be frank, I don't know how you would be able to with the war and everything. But I think, honey, it's time for you to get a husband so you could have a home with someone else. Oh, now? Honey, you know we've always been a little on the poor side, but now it's been worse than ever. We aren't one of the lucky families, you know? Yeah, but I thought we could make it work, you know? I could stay here and, you know? Do what exactly? You don't have a husband to bear children with. Yeah, but maybe I could go into the work- No. We need money. So, your father and I came up with a plan. We found a really rich man who's gonna come over tomorrow night and meet you. Most likely, he will be the man you will be wed to. Now, you gotta be respectful, honey, because this is our only shot. Everybody we already know's daughters have already been wed. I know this news is surprising, but be excited, honey. You'll get to have your own wedding gown and be married to a man. Don't you like that idea? Uh, I, 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 uh, uh that settles it. Tomorrow night it is. Don't worry, honey. Everything will turn out perfectly okay. I hope so. They want me to get married, Bet. Married. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do this. Bet. Relax, Marion. It'll be okay. <laughs> I told you to stop calling me Marion. But it's such a beautiful name. <laughs> it's such an ugly one. I don't know what to do. Well... My cabin. We can go there. And live there together. For some time. You know, I'm one of the lucky women to be in the workforce. I, I have enough money, and maybe you can get a job too sometime, if anybody lets that happen. But bet I'm meeting this man tonight. Tonight. Just think about it. You can pack your bags and come live with me. Yeah. I hope. Always have hope. Always.
<laughs> Honey, are you not gonna eat the food Jackson made for you? Oh, um, I will. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> All right, well, your father and I will leave you two alone to get to know each other. You know, it, it's a true honor getting to meet you, Marion. <clears throat> sure. I, uh, I, I think you look lovely, and I would love to share my riches with you. Yep. Can you actually say something other than one word? I'm gay. I don't want to be here. What? Did, did I hear that correctly? I'm gay. Les Bo. Okay? D then why are you... Why are you trying to marry me? My parents are forcing me. The only woman I actually love I can't be with. <laughs> she wants me to tell them, but I know they won't accept me. I see. It's a hard time, I know, but, um, you'll get through it. Yeah, well, we need money, so there's that. If you want, we can get married for show. You can be with your girlfriend. I, I, I won't show affection to you unless needed to be in front of your parents. You'd do that? I mean... I don't got anything better to do. I have lots of money, but I'm really bored. So maybe I can help you out. I can't believe... Uh, I can't believe you're accepting I'm gay. You're what? I know the way that word was used. You're not happy. I better go. I will not tolerate this behavior. You are marrying a man whether you like it or not. Please, 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 Dad, please. No. No. I... You're disgusting. Get away from me. Disgrace. <laughs> I'm done with this place. We need to go now. my camera out. <laughs> Come on. Jeez. The love of my life. And although the cabin was really small, and we couldn't access the upstairs because there was no ladder, her full big heart was enough. You were gone for way too long. Well, I'm here now. Looking at old pictures, may I see? Yes, we were young. Oh, what a time it was. Me too, bad. Hey, 
Hey guys, so I just wanted to say happy Pride Month, all yeah, all yeah, all yeah, and I'm debating if I want to do a part two of this film or not, but you know, you guys decide because I think there's a bit more to this story than, you know, this happy ending, you know, you know, because they're so young, and as you saw at the end, you know, they're old, so there's way more to the story, so I want to see if you guys want a part two, so comment down below if you want a part two, and yeah, I love you guys so much, and I hope you all have an amazing day, goodbye!